Sky Eye uh, giving us uh, as much information as he can. Again, this is a massive pipeline fire burning here uh, in the Laporte area. So uh, we have learned a few details here. Uh, Luetta and Canada, that is the evacuation zone. If you are in that area, you are told to evacuate safely right now. Uh, one thing that Don mentioned, we have no idea what is burning right now. That is something we're trying to uh, get a handle on so we can figure that out and, and figure out how dangerous or if it is dangerous at all. I can tell you that uh, right now our news desk is working very hard to get more information for you right now. Uh, also, Spencer Highway closed in both directions. Also, the area uh, around Walmart and HEB blocked off to traffic, and you can understand why. If you take a look at your screen, look at this pipeline fire right here. And as well as the pipeline fire, we have grass fires happening all around the area. And you can see water being put on those grass fires as uh, they are working very hard. The Office of Emergency Management to try and figure this out. Don Armstrong Strong also mentioned that there is a vehicle, some sort of vehicle near that pipeline fire. At this point, we don't know how that vehicle is involved or if it's involved at all. But Don mentioned that it is very unusual to have a vehicle so close uh, to a pipeline like this so close to this area. We don't know if anyone's injured in that vehicle as well. We're working on that. But take a look as Sky Eye is zooming in on this pipeline fire. My goodness, uh, it is just ferocious here. And you can see it there burning from the ground and it goes all the way up. Uh, my goodness, and, and, and black smoke coming up from the top of that fire. We are again are working to see if there are any injuries. We are also trying to figure out why that car is near that fire. But I can tell you right now that uh, they are asking that you evacuate that area. As we take a look at the live images here, let's, let's tell you about the reunification center. So she wanted to reunite with her dog. There are people who there's no power, remember, cell service. Uh, you heard about the man earlier who's trying to get a hold of his family. There is a designated place where authorities are helping evacuate Wait, people. Excuse me, really quick, if you don't mind, uh, Jacob here, uh, we are taking a live look here as firefighters, and we will get to that reunification information in just a moment, but this is uh, our first time seeing this. It appears now that some of these homes are on oh, fire, no. and that absolutely breaks our hearts. So we are looking at firefighters as they are trying to put water on this particular home, and we see oh, that white no. smoke coming from at at least two homes here and that is absolutely heartbreaking. We saw it. We've been watching this for over an hour and it looks like more homes here potentially as we are looking. Uh, it looks like one at least two homes. Uh, I don't want to get confused by the white smoke there, uh, but at least two homes though uh, going up in flames. It looks like that smoke is coming from the roofs of these homes as firefighters are working to try and contain this fire. My goodness and uh, our hearts absolutely go out to these residents who are waiting. They were waiting for information. They were waiting to see if their animals were okay. They were waiting to see if they could get in and get any of their belongings.